Hey, hey. I didn't... Ooh, 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 it's loud, hey. I didn't bother filming the other one because it was quiet. But here's... Okay, so this half is a preamp and this half is an amp. And it's so much better. I can actually hear things coming out of that. It's a little bit awful, but... At least you can hear things. Sort of. Something might be a bit loose now, but whatever. It's probably more useful as a instrument than a anything else. He's giving me the look. Hey, Molly. Come here, come here, come here. Come here, Molly. Come here, come here, come here. Come here. Hello, hello. What's this? Hello. Yeah, hey, hey, look, look. It's a speaker. Molly. Molly. Hey, Molly. No, he's not interested. He just wants hugs, don't you? Hey, you suck. Come here, come Aww. Oh no, he ran away. Well, that's sad. Okay, okay. Well, I have a slightly loud radio. But some of these connections are a bit dodgy. I can turn it. Change the volume, it does. But it doesn't really get much louder. I'm going to turn it all the way up. And then these bits, to tune into a station, it's really dodgy. I think there are just so many things connected into these springs that it's not going to work properly. Because there's connections loose somewhere. Probably everywhere. It's just how it is. You look loose. What else is loose? And then I think if I use that as a bit of an antenna, I can move this up a little bit. That's a new channel. That's speech, but you can't make it out. Come on, what else is loose? The other radio works heaps better than this one. <laughs> Take it off. That does nothing. I don't know, it still seems more like a weird synthesizer kind of thing. Like, tap in the radio waves and create some kind of distorted fuzz. That's about all it's good for, I think.
And this one's a bit hard to see. Hello. Yeah. Yeah, okay, that's a bit boring to shoot out of the way. What's been happening? I had this headache that just wouldn't go away. Um, it was away this morning, but then on the second bus into uni, um, that's when it came back, and so I had this headache all day. Um, yesterday was probably a bit worse because I was also dizzy and my hands were shaking a little bit. Which is a bit of a worry. Yeah, um, so, hey look, these are some resistors I don't use. Maybe they were for the bonus projects. I can't be bothered to do the bonus projects though. I want to work on my Dalek voice maker thingy. And uh, I've got some guitar paddles to play with. Um, yeah, see how that all goes. I wonder if I should have gotten the boxes for it though. Build it inside the box. Or just build it and then hope that I can get a box around it if I actually want to use it for anything. Or maybe it's nicer to just see the guts. Anyway, yeah, I know some of that was probably a bit boring watching all the circuits, but there are some ideas in there to kind of go, like if I can make some kind of noise-making machine, it does something slightly more interesting than those ones, but, you know, maybe using some of those ideas, it could be kind of fun. Um, so I have a headache. No thanks to the government, by the way. Um, I, I don't know, there's a video going around about how stupid our Prime Minister is at the moment. Um, Tony Abbott. Really, they should just kick him out and put Malcolm Turnbull back in. You know, that guy is so much more sensible and he speaks a lot better. Um, where it's Tony he just keeps embarrassing himself. Um, a little bit hard to think with the headache going on. But yeah, this whole budget has made me heaps more political than I ever thought I would be. Um, and oddly, I actually care about, well, I seem to care about people on welfare. Could just be because, you know, I've spent so much time on my butt instead of getting a decent job, but maybe one day I'll need welfare, but I've never been on it my whole life. Um, I've been continuously employed, at least in, you know, casual part-time work, since early 2007. Um, so I'm, I'm doing okay, I'm still living at home. Uh, yeah, um, I have too many savings to qualify for Sandlink, so... Yeah, about the only thing I'm getting from the government is some um, fee help to pay for my uni courses, which means I might be massively in debt, but at least it's not debt that is going to screw me over too badly. Um, still, huh. The chances of me paying it back are pretty low, especially if the interest rate goes up for it, and um, apparently banks do look at your government debt before they'll give you a loan, so it could have left me doing any of that, but... I don't really have any big ambitions to move out anytime soon. Quite comfy here, apart from all my stuff being thrown on the floor in this one little room. It'd be nice to have some more space, but you know, money. Um, this electronic stuff, I'm, I'm getting pretty into it. That's interesting. Maybe I could make a career out of that. It'd pay more better than studio work. I've been doing an internship in studio work. I don't know what I've mentioned yet. Yeah, I'm doing an internship and it's been alright, but I, I don't know that I'm cut out for it. I think um, the electronic side of audio, the mathematical side of audio, just. I'm just better at that stuff than the creative things. Um, I do have a creative side to me, but. I don't know. It's a lot less successful and a lot less dominant, I think. Um, and I'm studying so much and working and doing the internship that I don't really have time to be creative at the moment. Hang on. I need my glasses. Oh, baby.
Reading this book at the moment. The people you are. Getting back into the uh, multiple personality kind of idea. Um, I know they got that far through. But it's interesting because, hey, there's someone else who thinks that, you know, stuff going on in here isn't quite one person all the time. Um, you know, I've got the sort of dark side, I've got the more emotional side, I've got the depressive, you know, black wolf kind of thing going on at different points in my life, and I do feel like different people. And I've got drawings of gravestones from when I feel like one person of me has died and been taken over by someone else. The progression. Um, yeah. So, you know, it's interesting to see someone else getting into that. Um, what's your profession? I have to get what your profession is. I'm pretty sure you're not an actual psychologist, but well, maybe you are. Award-winning science and medical writer. Yeah, so probably not a full-on psychologist or anything, but you know, still sciencey. And she's is it you or she? I think you're she. She's looked into a few things and you know a bit about the DID and MPD kinds of things. And okay, maybe I'm a little bit more accepting of a DID kind of thing now after reading only that much. But um. And it's fascinating because she describes about different situations, you become different people to deal with it. Um, and the traditional view is more like it's an aspect of yourself rather than different selves in here. Um, which, hmm, I think there is some argument to say that, you know, there are different persons. I was talking to a friend and she was saying that, um, when she's performing, it's like she's not there, and she doesn't really remember much of what happens on stage. Um, and that, that just made me think of this book, which I'll lend to her at some stage, but, um, you know, it's sort of like becoming a different person when you're on stage. And then also, when she's around certain people, um, she's noticed that she gets real aggro and stuff. But only around those other people, oh boy, she's the sweetest girl. Um, yeah, so you can see it in other people probably more easily than you can see it in yourself. Although I've always been obsessed with it, so since ages, I don't know, I was paranoid about people being able to read my mind because there's this sort of outward good girl kind of thing I had going on. And then um, I would, in my head, be thinking all this violent stuff and eventually turn that into my online RPG life. And then as I've grown older, I've started doing more crazy stuff like this instead of being the conservative little Catholic girl I was supposed to be. Um, at the moment, I feel pretty whole, though. I'm not having as many of those inner conflicts. I kind of thought this would trigger it a bit more. So far, not getting much of it. Um, it, it she has exercises in the second half of the book, apparently, to, you know, get in touch with your other selves. I'm just thinking, like, is that really going to be helpful for me. I mean, I've kind of come to terms with everything. Um, and I just feel heaps more whole than I used to, and that, I think it's been good for me. But, um, one... I mean, that, that's a sort of maybe. I haven't got up to it, so I don't know what she's actually saying about what you should do with the other selves. But, um, so I can't really criticise that yet. But one criticism I do have so far is that, um, you know, Sometimes she's talking more about mood swings rather than personality swings. Um, and I think she's getting a little bit confused. Like, mood and personality, uh, you know, like, moods still exist even if you have different people. You can be in a good mood or in a bad mood. Maybe it changes a bit of the way you behave, but I think it's more your thought pattern that has to do with who you are. I don't know, yet. Uh, I should have bookmarked it. I don't really mean to go on and rant. I was just like editing those electronic videos together. I was like, wow, this is pretty boring. I don't know who's going to watch this. Maybe I should say some of this place in it. But um, I still have this headache and it's hard to think of things to say and be coherent. So, um, yeah, I think I'm going to go to bed and. I have a choice. I can read some more of this, or I can read some electronics.
Electronics is the stuff I should probably be reading since I'm studying it at the moment. And class today was a bit confusing. I had a massage today. It was amazing. I, f I, I, I thought I couldn't move at the end of it. And then I got up and then suddenly I can move really well. But I could, like, you know, she's so much pressure in there and that's going to feel sore for a while. Until I get up there and I'm going to go to bed. Oh, God.